Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too slow. So sunny. So sunny. Joel Anderson's in the house, call him the king of the hills. That's what he's called around here, that's what everyone calls him. As soon as Joel turns up, the king of the hills has turned up. But he's a BMXer as well. He's like a master of all trades. Oh, I just cheat a little bit. Nah, I do, your front wheel stopped, you're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that is really strange. You're like dodgy bearings in your front wheels, like, yeah. Oh yeah, they're pretty fucking awful. <laughs> what? That's kind of cool. You missed out the ledge. You! Oh. That slider was cool. Even my legs are fucking killing. <laughs> Oh yeah, to the make it. Over the hit. Oh. <laughs> Put a bit of red on me. <laughs> no way. Oh, too bad. I'll give him that. Pirelli killing it. That car is on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, wasn't filming? Wait, it was filming. <laughs> but his eyes picked it. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wrong side. So yeah, we're at YMCA skate park, making obstacles with tyres. Okay, no, yeah. sketched them out. <laughs> Pirelli sketched them out. <laughs> what did I tell you? See? <laughs> that was awesome. Told you it work. It's all about the science, mate. I know all about the science. I did physics in school. <laughs> I know the angle and stuff, you know, the sort of weight against the tyres. It's all good. Pirelli coming through, was it? Pirelli Scorpion. It's probably killed someone that tyre. We're really bloody blunting on it. Yeah, it's good. What else you got? Not much. There's like tyres everywhere. Someone's coming and just dumped a load of tyres everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That was a cool slider. If you went back up the quarter, now you got wet tyres. That means slider's even better. Oh. <laughs> that landed like, kind of like... Landed kind of like... Sprocket on the top, that's good. You like doing sprockets, now, don't you? Like you like doing sprockets after land on that tyre. Yeah, boy. Love sprocket. It's all about the sprockets.
bit of early morning maintenance. This needed recoating. It all rottened out, so I'm gonna stick a new layer over this. Ready for a session. See, quite nice actually. See, all the cladding bit underneath is fine. It's all nice and dry. Not rotten at all. The ply on top's just rotted out. So, take out all the screws. It's got rid of the layer. Stick a new layer down. Ready to go. That's, that's actually awesome. So yeah, got given a load of OSB. It's a load of 80 mil hoarding from a building site. They're just gonna chuck it away, snap it up, burn it. But I've got so much of it, and this just comes in handy for a ghetto skate park. Got to fill in that little gap at the top of a little strip, but one man's junk is another man's treasure. <laughs> That's better. At least it ain't rotten now. Nice and solid. Pick up the speed. You know, everything will sort of weather over it. It's inevitable. Things will sort of fall apart and weather. But you just gotta keep going. That's what a ghetto skate park's all about. Just get what materials you can. And just keep building. And this place is so much fun. We've got some awesome stuff coming. I'm looking forward to it. I just need to get rid of this sickness. It's been with me for like four days now. And uh, hopefully it clears. Well, it's gonna clear. You know how I feel. People are watching this now, and you know how it feels. When you feel ill, it's just like, oh. But you just gotta battle on. When you wanna do these videos, when you wanna do these vlogs, when you wanna go out filming and stuff, you just gotta battle on. But yeah, it's a struggle, but we're getting there. And hopefully I'll be my own hyperactive self in the next few days. So look forward to that. Bye for now. The weather is crap. Traffic is crap. But... Another one of my favourite tea trips. Absolute classic. See, that's a proper t-shirt, proper t-shirt design. You get some people out there, they're kind of like mass produce some sort of t-shirts that literally, it's a load of rubbish to be honest. They kind of make up a BMX brand. There's people out there, they kind of literally make up a BMX brand. It doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of, a lot of times it's their own name. There's certain riders out there, they could happily put their name on a BMX brand. You know, Matt Hoffman. He obviously does. He's allowed. He's a legend. If Van Homan put his name on a t-shirt, I'd happily buy that. You're kind of feeding the pigeons. That's what a lot of people say. That's what they say in England. You're feeding the pigeons. Kind of feeding the rodents. And uh, yeah, they make these sort of random brands and then they make a fortune on it and then they sort of blag about how they got this car and that car and this car. There's people out there with these dodgy sales pitches. Hey you, I'm going to BMX in a day. But before that, buy my hat, buy my t-shirt, click here. It's like, click what? Click fuck off, innit? 